We also have breaking news out of Washington. We've just learned the White House communications director has resigned. That's Mike Dubke. Could be the first move in a broader shakeup. There are new questions about the Russia investigation this morning as well. Senator John McCain is now calling Vladimir Putin a bigger threat than ISIS. And President Trump appearing to throw his full support behind Jared Kushner, who is now under investigation for trying to set up that back channel to communicate with Russia. A lot is going on. And our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, starts us off with all the latest from the White House. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. As you said, Mike Dubsky's resignation was expected after just three months on the job. This could be part of a larger communication shakeup to come. You know, President Trump came home from that trip abroad to a political crisis on his hand. White House aides here have been huddled over the weekend in full damage control mode. This morning, under increased scrutiny, the White House is bracing for a shakeup. Possibly in the mix, the president's former campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, and former deputy campaign manager, David Bossie, both spotted leaving the White House on Memorial Day. Over the holiday weekend, daughter Ivanka seen at the White House, too, with the very lawyer President Trump hired to handle the Russia investigation. Mr. President, did Jared try to set up a back channel to the Russians? Those sightings happening as questions mount over why the president's son-in-law and advisor Jared Kushner attempted to create a communication back channel with the Russian ambassador. Kushner is not a target of the FBI's Russia probe. The White House is insisting he did nothing wrong. It's both normal, in my opinion, and acceptable. But some members of the president's party are raising concern. My view of it is I don't like it. I, I just don't. I don't. I know that... Some administration officials are saying, well, that's standard procedure. I don't think it's standard procedure. The president tweeting this morning saying Russian officials must be laughing at the U.S. and how a lame excuse for why the Dems lost the election has taken over the fake news. But some in the president's inner circle say it might be time for Kushner to take a leave of absence. In public, the president sticking to the script giving his first remarks since returning from overseas, honoring fallen troops and their families on Memorial Day. It is because of families like yours that all of our families can live in safety and live in peace. Now, with all of these questions mounting, there's been talk here at the White House about the administration holding fewer press briefings. Sean Spicer does hold one today, George. It will be his first on-camera press briefing in 15 days.